If you're not using Zapier yet to make your life easier, you're missing out. Zapier is one of my favorite integration tools to tie all the knots to all the systems I use. So as a realtor, I use Facebook. I have lead forms. I have ManyChat and my chatbot. I have KV Core on my CRM, listing the leads, my newsletter. All those systems are tied together through the application of Zapier. They call them Zaps. In this video, this is a part three of a three-part series here on the channel. I'm gonna be showing how to use Zapier to zap the lead forms coming from an ad on Facebook over to your CRM. In my case, I'll use KV Core as the example. This is a very easy step. So let's dive into Zapier and I'll show you how easy this is. Now, if you haven't already watched the first two videos on this series, I'll have links up here for you. In the first video, I covered how to create an instant form in Facebook tied to a chat bot. So the instant form, instead of sending them to a website, we did the Dream Home Finder. That Dream Home Finder is gonna open a private message conversation on Messenger with the person so I can engage with them. The second video in this series was I showed you exactly how to create the Facebook ad using an instant form and using the Dream Home Finder uh, 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 form and I showed some ninja tricks along the way. I went into chat GBT4 and I had it write my copy and so forth in creating that compelling ad. And I'm doing it for only $3 a day. So this final video is the final step in creating an incredible sales funnel for getting buyers into your CRM and that's zapping it over to your, uh, your CRM um, that we can nurture. So let's hop in and let me show you how easy it is. So over here on Zapier, to create the zap, there's a big orange button here called Create Zap. It couldn't be any easier. If you're not familiar with Zapier, Zapier is based on the premise of if this, then that. So in simple terms, if this happens in this system, you want the zap to trigger and then do something with the data by sending it over to the second system. So it's if this, then that. So in the system, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Facebook as the starting part of the zap because in Facebook, um, we wanna take the lead form that's in this Dream Home uh, program that I've been showing in this series so that when the leads come in from Facebook, I want those leads zapped over to my KV Core, which is my CRM. This zap can go to Follow Up Boss, it can go to Chime, it can go to any number of CRMs out there because most systems in the world today have a zap capability. So right here I have Facebook lead forms. Now, if you're not already on, if you're new to, uh, to Zapier, they do have a free plan. Um, this lead form uh, strategy that I'm showing here does require a, a premium plan on Zapier. So you gotta pay for Zapier, but I highly suggest it as it really makes your life easier. So I'm gonna create this. Now the first thing I always do at the very top where it says untitled zap, you wanna name these so you know what your zaps are doing. In my business, I think I have 27 zaps. I have zaps so not only am I gonna create this zap where I, I send the lead from the lead form over to my CRM, I'll have another zap that puts them right on my phone in my address book. So when the lead calls me, it, uh, they're already a contact and I can start engaging them right away. So I have zaps for everything in my life, uh, you know, systems wise, to make all the data seamlessly flow where I want it to go. Uh, that's the power of Zapier. So in Zapier for the lead form, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the, the event and it, there's only one event in Facebook and that's a new lead coming in. So you select the new lead and you hit continue. You're gonna choose your Facebook account. So I have the Facebook account here. I'm gonna choose it and hit continue. Now what we're doing is we're identifying the page. So I have multiple pages in my system. So I'm gonna search for Smarty the Realtor. Um, there's Smarty the Realtor page. I'll grab, that's the page. And then I'm gonna select the form. So if you remember from the series, I created the Dream Home 2 uh, form. So uh, that is the form that I'm gonna use here in the system. So uh, I could do, um, you know, there's one that's converted. Actually, I'm gonna do this one here. I'm gonna have two different zaps because I have two different ads. So uh, what I'm doing here is I could test the zap. So as I test it, it found a lead, and this is just some dummy data. I'm gonna hit continue, because the ad has actually hasn't been approved yet. I'm doing this these three series ad, uh, videos here in sequence, so Facebook's still approving that Dream Home ad that we created in the other video. 
So the next step is now that we've identified the source, so the source is gonna be a new lead in Facebook. When that new lead gets entered into Facebook, that's gonna trigger the zap, and now we're gonna say, what do we wanna do with that data? So in my case, I'm gonna use KV Core. So I, I go in and put KV Core right here, and I'll grab the latest KV Core. The event in KV Core is gonna be create contact, and I'm gonna hit continue. Once it, I'm gonna choose the account, and I'm gonna use my Pro Edge KV Core, and I'm gonna hit continue. And now all I have to do is map the data. So here I'm gonna do first name, and then in the list here, these are the fields that are being collected inside of the Facebook lead form. So I'm gonna put the person's uh, first name in the first name field. Now this was part of the ninja trick I showed in the very first video when I was creating the lead form. By fa Facebook's default, they're gonna have the full name of the person. But when you're zapping data between CRM and, and Facebook, most CRMs require two fields, one for the first name and one for the last name. This is coming from KV Core. So I'm gonna now put the last name in. So what I did when I created the form in Facebook, I showed you how to remove the full name and add in the first name, last name, and email and phone number on the form. Now we're gonna choose the type of lead. This is gonna be buyer. This is for KV Core. And then down here I have the email. So I'll grab the person's email right here and I click off and then I'm gonna grab their cell phone and I'm gonna bring in their cell phone right here. So their phone number right there. So now they're the main fields that the form is collecting. First name, last name, I know they're a buyer and they're coming in. Now there's some other things you wanna do spe specifically for your, your destination. So I'm a KV Core user. I know that all my leads in KV Core start out as new leads, so I'm gonna type new lead here um, and then click off. So that's gonna be the status of the lead. The capture method, I like to identify where the form came from. So uh, I know because in my lead form, I'm sending them into Messenger, I wanna know that they're in the chat bot. So I'm gonna say, ultimately they filled out the form and they're talking to the chat bot. The source is gonna be Facebook uh, uh, ad. I'll put Facebook ad right there as the source. And then I come down here and I'm gonna put other information in. So you could skip over this data here. I am gonna put in the, uh, the agent's uh, email. So I'll put in my email here, um, which is proedgehomeconnectors.com. I'll put my email in here. I could put a note in here if I want. Now in the note, um, I can do other things here. If I come down here, um, there's raw data that's being captured. Um, I can go in and uh, get all kinds of information here. So one of the things I think we asked them was the time frame for uh, selling a home. So I'm gonna put that time frame in the notes field. So I have that inside my KB Core. And then the last thing is the agent ID. Um, you could put in the ID and if you wanna tag them, I'm gonna tag them with a dream home tag so that I can kick off a campaign in my KV Core. So when the lead comes in, it's gonna fire into KV Core, it's gonna tag the person, and then on KV Core, we're gonna trigger a campaign to automatically put them on a drip campaign. And I also use that Dream Home uh, tag to put them on an automated property search. That's another video here on the channel. So if you have it, if you're new to the channel, I provide all kinds of ninja tricks. Make sure you subscribe and smash that bell as I'm all about lead gen with technology tips and tricks. So once I have that tag, this zap is ready to go. So all I have to do is hit continue. I'm gonna test the action. It just makes sure the connection's good. And then down below, there's a publish button. I'm gonna publish this zap and that is it. My uh, leads are gonna come from my Facebook campaign, my Dream Home Finder, and they're gonna end up in my KV Core, but they're also gonna be in ManyChat in my Pro Edge chatbot talking to my chatbot. And I have a private message channel to start texting back and forth this individual to see if I can find them a dream home. So over here, transfer data, uh, give it a try. I'm gonna say go to my zaps. So uh, I'm just gonna come back and now I have the zap up here. So the one I just did, you notice I didn't name it. So over here, I was talking about the name, but in talking, I didn't do it. So if you don't name it, that's what it'll look like, but it means nothing to you, unnamed zap. So make sure you give all your zaps names. So I'm gonna call this a Facebook, Dream Home Add to KV Core. So now that I saved it, 
uh, on the list over here on, on Zapier, that is the name of my zap. So now I know exactly what that zap's doing. It's taking my dream home ad and it's sending them over to KV Core. If I come over to my realtor zaps, you'll see I have zaps for everything. I have lots of zaps turned on. So uh, all kinds of stuff going on in my system from listing leads to my HomeBot AI. Uh, I'm integrating to my phone book. Uh, my contacts over here are all getting updated. In fact, I'm rewiring these so they're all off right now, but I automatically send them over to my contact plus so they're in my phone book. So lots of capabilities here on Zapier. Get busy. If you haven't seen the other videos, watch them here on the series and make sure you subscribe if you haven't. We'd enjoy having you here. Enjoy your day.